I think that Ricky Chops needs his own theme music, his own entrance song. What do you guys think? What do you think it should be? Because I have no ideas. Well, actually, I have some ideas, but they're kind of cliche for now, um, I guess, for lack of a better term. Uh, I was thinking maybe Cosmonauts by At The Drive-In. Check that song out. It's pretty good. Pretty fun. But yeah, let me see your ideas. I want to know what you guys think I should have as my theme music. Because I need one. Now watch this. I'm using the TAR-21 as a sniper rifle on Wasteland. Screw the intervention. Screw the Barrett. I'm using the TAR-21. Probably the best gun in the game. But that's the thing about Wasteland. See, everyone, when you play this map, everyone wants to be a sniper. Not I. Not Ricky Chops. I don't like using a sniper rifle on this map. In fact, I don't like using a sniper rifle at all. Because... To me now, oh, wait a minute, check out this move right here. Terry Crews, Terry Crews in this film, in this Call of Duty film, yeah, oh yeah. And you don't, if you don't know who Terry Crews is, go ahead and Google that guy. He's uh, amazingly funny, and he's built like a shit brick house. Um, he was in The Expendables, so that's why I mentioned him. A12, check it out, check out that movie. But this is a Call of Duty film, I like saying uh, my videos are films, because I, might, I treat them as such, I try to be creative with them, so... Uh, you know, I'm trying not to just slap together some commentary in a video. I try to make it a whole multi-media experience. But if you noticed in that last kill, my my accuracy is terrible. Like I said in my first video, who is Ricky Chops? My accuracy is garbage. I, I will admit to that. I will be humble about it. But guess what? Ricky Chops is an opportunist. I'll take any kill I can get, however I can get it. As long as it isn't camping or noob tubing or... Hmm... Knifing... Well, knifing with Commando. Knifing with anything else is alright, I guess. But, so, like I said, I'll take any kill. I'll take uh, any kill I can get. But, what was I saying? Something about Wasteland, Terry Crews, Tower 21. Yeah, this gun is great, and you'll notice I'm running around with the C Anders class. Now, you should know by now what that class is, so I'm not going to get into it, but... I see my hair doing some work here. And I decided to, maybe I should stick to the cave here. The cave. Just to get him out. Just to flush him out. Because it's a, oh, they, they shot it down. Boy, that, that Harry didn't last long, did it? Now watch this move up here. I go kill this guy, right? And then, his buddy shoots me in the back. Right in the liver. Or the kidney, wherever they may be. But he shoots me there, and I'm like, dude. Why didn't you shoot me before? Why'd you give me the, the false hope of thinking the area was clear? But you know what? That's my fault because I didn't clear the corner. Like a good soldier does. I didn't clear the corner. That's my fault. Now check out my sniper my sniper buddy here. Look, he doesn't catch that guy right there in the hedge. And that's understandable. But planting claymores at people's feet. Now while that is a favorite hobby of mine, I only do it for shits and giggles. People don't follow my example. In fact, don't play the game the way I do. Okay, because I mostly just run around aimlessly like a chicken with its uh, head cut off. And I try to shoot people. That's about it. They're, they're, I really don't incorporate any sort of strategy or tactics. Now watch this guy. He got tunnel vision and that's why he shot in the head. See now, normally I don't I don't aim for the head. I aim for the, you know, the center of mass. That's what they taught me in the military. Aim for the center of mass. Headshots, that's just for video games. But turned out, turned out you know, it worked pretty well that time. So... I was saying something before. I forgot what it was. I really wanted to touch upon. Ah, screw it. Maybe I should, sh uh, j you know, jot down some notes from time to time. Oh yeah, when I'm playing TDM, and listen, I'm not. I'm gonna tell you right now. Ricky Chops is not a Call of Duty professor. Okay, I don't play this game uh, enough to be able to teach people how to get better. That's just not. That's just not me. I just make these films. I just make these films for your entertainment. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I make these films for your entertainment, and I honestly, like I said, I don't play this game often enough throughout the week to uh, be qualified as a Call of Duty professor. Now this UAV reveals a smorgasbord of red dots, and they look quite appetizing. I don't know why I decided to incorporate food terminology there, but um, anyway, so I decided to go ahead and flank these guys, and it, it, it works out somewhat well, you know, I get these two kills here but for some reason some reason I decided to whip out the A12 I don't know why 
I don't know why. But here's something you guys need to know about the AA-12. That thing is a monster in the real world, okay? YouTube some videos about that thing. That thing can... I don't know. It can shoot from... I think the last video I saw on it, it can shoot from a distance of a football field or something like that and be on target. So I don't know why they decided to ner nerf it. Oh, ner not nerf it, but... Yeah, well, actually, I do know why they decided to quote-unquote nerf it. That gun... If you were to actually replicate what it does in real life, it would just be the best gun in the game. Um, so, it'd be like, I don't know, the pre-patch models, if you guys remember those guns. Just absolutely fucking broken. Now, like I said earlier, I'm not a Call of Duty professor. All right, But the way I play TDM is pretty simple. I try to let the other guys get in front, because I don't want to be on the front lines. Ricky Chops does not like being in the front lines. I don't like getting shot at, I don't like getting shot in the back, I don't like people spawning behind me, so I try to stay, I try to sandwich my teammates, and as selfish as that does sound, I try to sandwich my teammates between myself and and them, and the enemy. That way, if someone decides to shoot at me, they'll have to shoot through that guy first, if they notice him, which oftentimes, for some reason in this game, they don't, so. As I was saying before, I like to play TDM a certain way, and that's pretty much, well, actually, that's pretty much the same way you play any objective map control. I think that's the key to, to, to you know, being good in this game. And I realize that it might be too late for giving out tips. But still, map control, that's that's the biggest thing about this game. You can be terrible at everything else. Everything else in the game. But if you control, if you can control a key point in the map, you can pretty much dominate. As I've mentioned before, um, Ricky Chops is not a Call of Duty professor. I don't care to be. I don't aspire to be. I'm not certified to be. Um, I'm not a beast at this game. I'm the average player. I get okay scores from time to time. So, I'm cool with that. I can live with it. But for some reason, I decided to take cover in this house. And it has no roof. I didn't even realize it had no roof until I actually saw this gameplay again. Until I went back in and took a look at it. What was I thinking? So I decided to pull out the you know anti-air support class. And I get shot in the back for my troubles. But that's part of being a team player, YouTubers. That's part of being a team player, making sacrifices. Some sometimes you know you're gonna be the sacrificial lamb for the greater good. Think of it that way. But that's that's another thing I want to touch upon. You don't play this game without a team. Don't be like Ricky Chops, okay? I don't like I said I don't have the time throughout the uh, the week to form a team or anything like that. So I gotta lone wolf it a lot of times, and that guy it kind of uh, you know it sucks for me because I hate being on the team, not communicating with my team members and everyone's just running around doing their own thing trying to get their own kill streaks or whatnot and it's just sometimes it could be it can lead to a negative play experience an npe when that happens you know it's time to go play i don't know starcraft 2 or something so until my next video this is ricky chops out hopefully in the next one i'll actually have a the theme song stay tuned